we're going to solve this trig equation for all x, and they want it in degrees. So the first thing to recognize is I don't have a sine or I have both sine and cosine. So the easiest way to deal with this usually is just to square both sides. And when you square both sides, you may be introducing some more solutions into the equation. Think about um, uh, <clears throat> if your if your answer was really only negative. Um, if one side was negative and one side was positive, then when you square them, they're both positive. So you may have introduced a solution. So check your answers when you're done. All right. But when I square it, it allows me then to convert the sine squared or the cosine squared into the other one. So I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to first square everything. Now when I do that, after I square everything, um, I would say don't divide out a cosine squared. Actually... Now that I think about it, you could just divide out a cosine squared, but if you're going to do that, remember that if cosine x equals 0 right now, you're done. In fact, that makes me realize an even easier way to do this problem, now that I think about it. I'll do this a couple ways. The easier way to do this problem is just to recognize at the very beginning, not even to square everything, but to divide out a cosine x. But when you do that, you basically just said that the cosine x you have to remember that cosine x could equal zero because if cosine x equals zero you're, you're, you've got your solution so but if I cancel out the cosine x then my equation looks much simpler sine x equals root two over two or the cosine x equals zero the sine x which is your y coordinate is root two over two at forty five degrees plus or minus three hundred sixty degrees and in the second quadrant, it's what, 135 degrees plus mm -hmm. or minus 360 degrees. And where does the cosine x equal zero? That's the y coordinate being zero, which is at 90 degrees and 270 degrees. But there's an easier way to write that. You just need to write 90 degrees plus or minus 180 degrees. And that way you don't need to write the 270. So there are your answers right there. All right. The other way that you could have done it, you can stop the video now if you understand that, but here's another way you might have tried to do this problem, would be to square both sides, not to cancel out the, the x squared and square both sides. I'll do this quickly. Sine squared x, cosine squared x equals 2 cosine squared x. <coughs> now turn sine squared into 1 minus cosine squared x keep everything else how it was notice that this is a lot more complicated to do it this way I'm going to distribute the 4 cosine squared x in I get 4 cosine squared x minus 4 cosine to the fourth x equals 2 cosine squared x I'm going to move everything to the right because it's easier that way this will become a positive so that's 4 cosine to the 4th x minus 2 cosine squared x, because I subtracted this, equals 0. Now I can factor out a cosine squared x, actually a 2 cosine squared x I can factor out, and I'll be left with a 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Right, set this equal to zero. That means cosine squared x equals zero, which again gives me the solutions 90 plus or minus 180 degrees. And set this equal to zero, um, which would tell me that the cosine squared x equals positive one half. I'm doing some of the work in my head, which means the cosine of x equals plus or minus the square root of two over two. One thing I forgot to do before was to check for extraneous solutions, but actually I didn't really have to do that because then the other one I didn't square both of them. But you'll see with this one I will get extraneous solutions because they don't all um, these. This answer would give you 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 215 degrees, and 234, 235 degrees. Did I, did I do those right? 
no, I'm sorry, 315 degrees. Okay? But two of those wouldn't work because the signs would be different on these when you when you check them. They wouldn't all work. So that's the other reason why you have to be careful when you're doing when you're squaring both sides, you're going to introduce extraneous solutions. So the only solutions again would be um, let's see, 45 degrees plus or minus 360 and 135 degrees plus or minus 360. So same answers, different solutions, are different ways of getting there. The easier way was to recognize kind of that shortcut by dividing out the cosine from both sides, but then remembering that the cosine of x could equal zero, and, and this equation would be true if that was the case.